Hey everyone, it is Barry and welcome back to the second part of the Modern Family Home. If you don't want to go through 17 minutes of video, you can gladly skip to minute 16 and watch a minute of screenshots because this build is so huge that I have a minute of screenshots. If you want to stay and listen to me ramble, you can hear the story of why this build took me so long and maybe other stuff, <laughs> I don't know. Maybe you like to listen to people talking a lot of senseless stuff, probably. Well, this house was my absolute horror build in the end because my computer crashed. This time didn't only the game crash, but the whole computer crashed. That means that not only was the build gone, or parts of the build also my recordings were gone so I couldn't just redo the build and redecorate everything basically the same way but I had to do it all over again and that cost me at least an hour of building and recording again and the second part why it took me so long is because I started to ha hate the colors I just didn't I didn't like it anymore. I went with this red and black because I wanted to make a super modern build and everything was supposed to be very modern and neat and you should see that this family has a lot of money. But then I started to do the study down here which also has a little bit of a gym in there because you know obviously they have a lot of money they can afford their own gym and <laughs> I, I went with the dark colors again and the white, red and uh, black and I started to hate it so much and I didn't enjoy it at all anymore that I decided to change up things and then I completely changed all of the colors throughout the house and made it completely different. I wanted it to be a very family friendly home. I wanted you know you to come in and be like yeah that's nice i want to live there that's cozy that's that that build feels like home you know i always want my my sim houses to feel like home too and i want to play in them and i want to like to play in them and i want you guys to like to play in them if you download it and i didn't feel like i wouldn't like it or anyone would like it so I changed it up I also saved a, a ton of times because I was so scared that it would crash again and everything would be gone again that you know I saved a lot of times <laughs> oh man also this is the part where we start changing up things this little corner and now we start to change the colors because I so did not like it anymore. Also, I really wanted this room to be a dining room, but also the bar room, the lounge area, because the parents that live in here are still quite young and they still enjoy having parties and having people over. And also they do have a, a teenage daughter, a teenage, <laughs> a teenage daughter that likes to party every now and then. And this place is just the right place for it to have a nice evening with your friends and chill out a little. There's a good stereo, there are heaps of places to sit down, a nice carpet, and you know i moved the dining area closer to the bar area so when you all sit together or your sims all sit together they can talk and hang out and have a good time now i started to change the kitchen uh because i didn't like that either <laughs> i didn't like anything in this build it's crazy um, yeah, I went to the more bluish colors and bright and nice colors, family worthy colors. In the end, it's still a family that lives in there, a very young family. And even though they like a modern build, I think it's better when the inside is still feeling like home. And now we change up the living room, all of it. I didn't like the living room at all. I, I'm still not happy with it. I think. The living room in this build is my least favorite part, my least favorite room. Uh, I don't know, it just doesn't look too good. I am in general not too good with living rooms. I, 
I realized that fairly quickly. I don't know why, but living rooms are just not my strong suit. Um, I did place those pictures because I feel like this family would travel a lot. So they have a lot of pictures of them traveling inside the living room. And also this little game area where they can spend some quality family time together. Now we're upstairs where we have all the sleeping rooms and one photo studio because I imagine the teenage girl living in there wanting to be a photographer and for sure this family has tons of money so they just made her a photo studio where she, where she, where she oh my god, you know the German word for she is see and now I just mix it up the whole time completely. That is so embarrassing. <laughs> ah, I hope a lot of you tried, uh, wanted to skip to the screenshots because you didn't get this very embarrassing language mistake mix up of English and German. <laughs> oh man, okay. Yeah, the photo studio. She has the photo studio, she spends a lot of time in there and she has a lot of friends over. But right now, we are in the master's bedroom. It's the parents' bedroom. They have a huge room because for sure when you have kids, sometimes you just want time for yourself and to get down a little bit, calm down a little bit, I don't know. And they have a very nice um, area here where they can turn on the fire and relax a little bit and just, you know, have a romantic evening together. And they also have the really big balcony with a barbecue and stuff. So sometimes when it gets too much, they can just lock their doors and, you know, enjoy being alone, doing some woohoos. <laughs> I really wonder which person came up with the word woohoo for sex in the Sims. Let's have some woohoo. <laughs> Also, there are some couches and bookshelves, and I think in the end I put in a TV. I even, I'm not sure, but I think I did. But anyways, they have uh, some, you know, places to calm down, to read a little bit and draw, because the mother is a drawer in my imagination. You know, as always, I, I did create the family first, and I think I'm going to even play with them a little bit. It just makes it so much easier for me to decorate because I know, oh yeah, the mom is a, a painter, so I'm gonna put in a painting thing and the daughter is a photographer, so we need a photo studio. It just makes everything a lot easier for me to decorate because I don't, I don't build into the blue, you know. What do you put in there if you don't have a story, if you don't have an idea who's going to live in there? It's very hard for me to build without that. I know that a lot of people can do it. A lot of people like to or prefer to build after blueprints. And I'm very, very jealous of those people because I love to build like that. It, well, it doesn't make things easier, but it, it saves you a lot of work because you need to create family first. And I do create them with all of their details and all of the clothes and that takes a lot of time and then you have to make up a story in your mind and then you start building so it takes a lot of time this is the kids boys room the little boy in my imagination is mm, a little bit of nerd he's super clever he loves to learn he loves to spend time at school and yeah he's just very very smart that's why he has his own computer to do a lot of research and maybe to play sometimes, you know. I, I would be a mom like that. I'd give my kids a computer to play. Um, not too long for sure, but I'd let them play. I clustered the wall with some posters because, you know, he's a kid boy and for sure he, he's a fan of a lot of things, football, bands, TV shows. And this is the area where he can play and have some fun. I gave him a dollhouse because why can boys have a dollhouse? And some toys lying around on the floor, a huge ass car because hey, that's really cool. And then a few posters again to show that he's a fan of football and actors and TV shows. 
and yeah, bookshelves because he's that smart and the area to read because he likes to read and sometimes his mom or his dad read nice stories to him in these chairs. I'm sorry for there's many saves but I was so afraid that my computer would crash again and I saved a thousand times to not let that happen. This is the main bathroom, this is the bathroom for everyone where you can just go in and you know take a shower or whatsoever. The other bathrooms are not bound to the rooms but every room has their own bathroom. I just like that a lot better if the rooms have their own bathrooms. I know it's a lot of stuff to clean in real life but we're in Sims so you know everyone can have their own bathrooms. I'm so jealous of the Sims sometimes because their houses are always so huge and just really really cool and you can do so much stuff and if you don't want to clean up stuff on yourself you just cheat some money and get a butler. That's you know very easy in the Sims. This is the teenage girl's room and she already has a more grown up room and a very cool room because she's in that age where she just wants to be cool and her friends to be jealous of her room. And that's why I chose a lot of golden colors and blacks to set high contrasts. But I also used the mint wallpapers and a lot of orange details like the lamps. Um, to just make everything stick out, give a lot of contrast that always makes a room very interesting. And at this part she has a TV and some kind of her own living room I'd say. In case she wants to have friends over she can just spend her time here with her friends and you know hang out a little bit in private, not with her parents around or her little brother. But I think he'd, he'd come in anyways because that's what little brothers do, I guess. I don't, I do have little siblings now, but my little sister is two and my little brother is half of a year and they live far away from me. Not far away, but two hours away from me. So yeah, I don't see them too often and I don't think he'll run into my room because he's not here. <laughs> uh, first I did want a keyboard electrical piano it's what it's called in english right in that room but then i thought no let's give her a guitar and a violin she's also into music you know uh, because it doesn't take that much space as the keyboard does and here she has her own bathroom and it's a pretty big one she has a huge makeup table and i think it's the only bathtub in this house i don't i don't know but her bathroom is just huge. She has so much space and I hope she appreciates it because I would love a bathroom like that. Mine is so tiny that I'm happy I can turn around once. <laughs> well, that's the perks of moving out when you're 17. Well, what else do we do in this build? I don't even know. Oh, I really like those carpets by the way. They're just amazing. And I decided to create this little white and black flower. You can see it in the screenshots later. There's another small balcony and this is the balcony for the photo studio. I thought, you know, if she has her friends over and, you know, practices her photography and they just hang out in there, it would be nice if they could go outside and chill outside, maybe have a little cigarette break or whatsoever. And when they go in there, they can just also lock the rooms and be on their own and no one is interrupting and, um, you know, trying to sabotage a photo shooting, I don't know. Also, there is there are a lot of spaces to sit down and relax and have some fun with your friends. I think if she invites friends over, she'd usually spend her time in here because it's just nicer, you know, it's nicer, there's more place to sit down, there's a good stereo in there and she can just enjoy her hobby, which is photography. Um, she also does model sometimes, you know, a photo studio is expensive and she does sometimes buy her own stuff, sometimes she doesn't get everything from mom and dad, so she does model to earn some extra money and yeah, 
expand her photo studio or her camera equipment. Also, I think this family does really travel a lot, so I put in some oriental things every now and then and things that don't fit into the build necessarily just because they bought them in other countries or in other continents or on other planets who knows in sims everything's possible <laughs> we have a huge pool here because for sure they have so much money they could probably buy a whole a whole arsenal of swimming pools or an aqua park do you call it aqua park too in english you know where there are heaps of pools and a lot of slides i always love those and in summer my boyfriend and me were going back to italy and fairly close to our hotel there is an aqua park so i hope we can go there this year but we'll see e -e. now i'm just finishing off everything uh, with some landscaping and a huge water slide because I love that thing. <laughs> I would so love to have one of my own, but I don't even have a garden. So, well, stop dreaming, y'all. Stop dreaming. Also, a huge dining area again to just sit outside and relax. Now you can watch the minute of screenshots um, because, you know, there are just so many pictures and. I wanted to show everything in case some people skip the video or I think most of the people do skip the videos and now you can see everything in the screenshots and all the color changes and everything that I decided to replace with the original furniture that I picked at the beginning. I think that's all I've got to say for now so I hope to see you guys in the next video. Have a great week! Bye!